Today we're gonna be talking about when are we going to get DLC 2 as well when are we going to see DLC 2 trailer and a little bit about DLC 5. Things are looking very good and it seems like next couple of weeks will be fully packed with content and there will be a lot of news. We have yet to see the new Call of Duty announcement, the reveal and surely there is still hope for DLC 5 for Black Ops 3 Zombies. We also just got new guns and weapons in Infinite Warfare. I know most of you guys don't care and neither do I and I'm ranked 2 in Infinite Warfare multiplayer should have been one. I'm sorry if I betrayed you, but anyhow, we got two new weapons in Infinite Warfare. Season Pass owners can just slap it in their classes and go jump in multiplayer. Notice I didn't say play. I will have a little gameplay running in the background for you guys, but before we get started, if you guys could drop a quick like, I would appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. We do daily videos and live streams. And uh, let's just get right into it. Now, I want to start this off with some DLC 2 teasers. Now, I know there has been been a lot of tweets coming from Lee Ross and I really didn't care because none of it made sense to me at that time and it still doesn't. Uh, I was expecting a DLC 2 trailer today and it didn't happen and surely when me and a lot of people were expecting a DLC 2 trailer, Lee Ross tweeted this out, hashtag Arthur, not gonna read the last bit, I'm afraid I'll butcher the name, but it's like a newspaper, I really didn't give a damn about it up until now, uh, but Mr. Waffle Waffles reply with a zoom in of the newspaper image, very we can see a little bit and it seems like it says world's first lobster and all of a sudden this got my attention and I was swimming through just like casually swimming through tweets uh, seeing them um, if I could make anything out I even googled it but couldn't really say for sure if that's what it is there's also a reddit post about who's Arthur and not many people seem to know what's going on I read a little bit of the post completely neglected the comments I may get back and read later on but lobster is what got my attention and it's it seems like there will be a special only lobster round, like we have seen the Harambe round in Raven the Redwoods, Clown rounds in Spaceland, and it seems like this time it will be lobster round. And we may also fight a mama lobster in the main easter egg boss fight, or in one of the easter egg step, or we could just simply fight whenever we want to, like there's no tomorrow, or maybe it won't be in, who knows, but lobster gives me a beach uh, map vibe, let me know what you think, we do have a little beach in Raven the Redwoods, I'm talking about the Turtle Island where you pack punch or like we have seen in the ending cutscene I guess that's where we're gonna be we're most likely gonna be in New York City and I feel like it's going to be an underground map maybe down in subway you call it metro here in Montreal that's where I'm at though and I guess it will be a dark theme New York City underground subway map in the 1970s I guess that's where we could see lobsters every four to five or six rounds I guess that makes sense to me let me know what you think in the comments below Lee Ross also has been tweeting a lot of art her quotes and it is deep AF. I wouldn't be surprised if we could play as Arthur in DLC 2 to be honest but now let's talk about when DLC 2 is going to release and when can we see uh, the DLC 2 trailer. So today was a Tuesday and they have not released the trailer. Instead they released new weapons which I, I don't know how what, what to say about and this coming Thursday there will be a Destiny 2 trailer which I'm looking forward to and Activision is behind that. So it's safe to say they won't release the trailer on this Thursday. Thursday. Sometimes they do that, that's why I'm bringing this up. They do not want to shoot themselves in the foot and they don't want to have a lot going on at the same time. Knowing that Call of Duty reveals are always in the last week of April or first week of May, this will make perfect sense. They will release the DLC 2 trailer next week on Tuesday, April 4th and we get a map a week after on April 11th, we're gonna have time to play and on April 19th, we're gonna get a new Call of Duty Zombies comic and that will surely give us a new DLC. DLC 5 hint. I'm thinking a new Origins remaster loading screen uh, that could be it or maybe Transit or Buried this time around or something crazy. Also there will be uh, another comic coming in June and that will surely fill us all up and around that time we could be seeing DLC 5. I have covered a lot of information, a lot of news, a lot of speculation, theories, rumors and even some facts and uh, some credible information in past weeks or so. Uh, you guys can check all those videos out about about DLC 5 and they will announce sometime in the last week of April I, I guess uh, about the new Call of Duty World War 2 reveal and we get the reveal in the first week of May. May the 2nd could be it and DLC 2 will release one month later as always as expected on Xbox and PC so I'm thinking DLC 2 release date for Xbox and PC will be May 9th or May 11th and uh, uh, that does make sense to me let me know what you guys think in the comments below but if you guys found this 
this video quick and informative, give it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys very freaking soon.